I'm heading back to America. Luckily, all GameStops look the same. Finish him. Uh, no. Why are you falling? Don't fall. Like waffles. All right, let's head to TJ Maxx. Wheelbot, wheelbots? I'm guessing those are knockoff transformers. We got a uh, the claw. Ooh, the animal. Just cannot get away from the pops. I was hoping to find some GI Joes, but no such luck. There is a Tim Hortons. Disney's reach is even here. Everything's big in the states. Everything's freaking huge. Diecast planes. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing. Well, <laughs> I didn't think it would happen this fast, but I'm heading back to America. That's right, guys. I'm heading over to, uh, to my friend Zal's place. You guys have met him before. We went to a uh, convention together. And uh, yeah, he's heading to... Uh, Buffalo. So he asked me if I wanted to tag along, maybe uh, do some toy hunting. So I said, heck, why not, right? So yeah, guys, um, I guess this will be my first visit to the United States in 2024. All right, we made it to Zell's place, and from here we're going to take off and head to the border. Well, it was too good to be true. We had almost no traffic coming here, and all of a sudden, boom! To stay on Rainbow Bridge, then turn left. Traffic. And there's the falls. The Canadian Falls always looks better than the American Falls. Yeah, I said it. One hour later. And we are in New York State. All right, so we made it to the United States. A uh, little bit of day shopping, see what happens. Uh, we're gonna hit up a couple places. Hopefully we'll be able to hit up a uh, Ollie's or a, um, uh, what's it called? Ross Dress for Less. We're gonna see what's happening. I'm not expecting a lot because it's after the holidays. So a lot of the good stuff has been cleared out already, but hell. You never know. We're gonna drop by a Target, gonna see if I can find some of those uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Master Universe crossovers. We'll see what happens there. Apparently we're looking for a Furby. We're looking for a Furby? Seriously? I don't know. Apparently it's some something new, but anyway. We'll see you there, guys. Yeah, Niagara's a very old city. We got some nice rustic houses here. Look at that sign. That's 7-Up right there. That's very quaint. Yeah, we got a charger here. Charger! So I just asked Zal where we're going and he has no idea actually. <laughs> we've we plotted our route and he really has no idea where we're going. We're just like randomly going to play. No, I'm just kidding. We have we have a route planned out, but now it's a mystery as to which store we're gonna land in first. So this is gonna be, it's, 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 like, a, it's like a lottery, I guess, I don't know. But apparently there are a couple of Walmarts, a couple of Targets, uh, a couple of, a couple of uh, Ollie's and a couple of uh, GameStops and maybe one Ross, so. Yeah, here we go, guys. Uh, the mystery tour begins. All right, so stop number one apparently is GameStop. <laughs> let's pop in here and see what they got. Wish me luck. All right, let's head to GameStop. Luckily, all GameStops look the same. All right, let's head inside. Yeah, apparently this GameStop is closing. That is so sad. So many different GameStops are closing. Oh. Well, I got some clearances here. I got JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. No, it's in a, in a Yoshari. I have no idea who that is. Is that JoJo's? No, I guess not. Ponyta from Pokemon. We got Hogmaster Cruiser. And we got some Star Wars figures here. Oh, the Inquisitor Fourth Sister. I've actually never seen her before. There's Ezra Bridger. Hey, look! And Darth Maul. Ooh, look at that. Wicked. Pro, pro, pro premium prices, twenty-five sixty-four. Nice. Darth Maul Battlefront. Oh, there's Omega. Omega. Black Series Return of the Jedi. Chewbacca. Morgan Elsbeth. Retro Collection. Sabine Ram. Wow. Hold on. Okay, that's the first time I've seen a Sabine. A Sabine. Ah, uh, no! Why are you falling? Don't fall. Please don't fall. Had enough of you. Wow, Sabine Ren. Retro Collection. Nice. Something happened to these cards, they're all bent. Protocol droids, holiday troopers, yep. And there's that Imperial Royal Guard, nice. We also got an assassin droid, oh, there's that reissue of... That belongs in a museum! General Grievous, <laughs> who nobody asked for. Alright, cool, Battlefront version. Yeah, you can make waffles. Death Star waffles, nice. And of course the VR too. You got the wall of pops. Hmm. 
I don't know. Pops have their day, apparently, just like this poor GameStop. But I guess that's what it is. All right. Anything else? Not really. Mostly Pokemon stuff on this side. And some anime over there. Finish him. Uh, yep. I got some Demon Slayer figures from McFarlane. Not bad. Dragon Ball Z. And some other figures. Yep, pretty much that's it. Alright guys, let's get going. Alright, well, that was an interesting first stop. Nothing, uh, nothing to show for it. Some, at least we saw the, uh, the Edel, you know, Morgan Elsbeth and that uh, fourth sister. Co a couple of other Star Wars figures, but that's pretty much it. Alright, I think the next stop is going to be a Target. So, we'll see you guys there. Because it's kind of hard to see, but there is a Tim Hortons in America. Okay, there's a Tops. In 800 feet, I'm actually pretty tempted to pop into a Tops because I've always, well, li living in Ontario, I've always heard of Tops. I'm really tempted to pop into Tops. I mean, like, we always heard about it whenever we were living in Ontario, but never seen one. And there it is, the fabled Tops. Oh, they got pizza. Oh, man. Now I'm really thinking about popping into that Tops. Oh, there's a TJ Maxx here, too. Okay, we'll definitely be popping in there. Checking out the TJ Maxx. And then apparently, there, yep, there it is. There is the target. All right, why don't we go to TJ Maxx first? We'll just pop in here quick. All right, I'm gonna go into the TJ Maxx. I didn't even know there was one on the route here, so let's have a look. All right, let's head to TJ Maxx. We got design brands at TJ prices. All right, I believe it's over here, TJ Maxx. All right, let's head inside. It's a pretty good thrift store. Let's see if there are any toys. Okay, it looks like we found a, what I think is the toy section. Yeah, we got some RC toys over here. Yeah. Wheelbot, wheelbots? <laughs> okay, I'm guessing those are knockoff transformers. Ooh, the animal. I remember that. Why did they bring that back? Toyland train, Sonic the Hedgehog. Eight bucks. Hmm, pretty good. Oh my god. What? Here they are. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, this is crazy. $12.99 for the starting lineup. These things were like 40 bucks. What the fuck? Oh my God, look at all these guys. It's all Jason Tatum. Are you serious? How many we got here? <laughs> oh my God. Holy oh, crap. God, no. Oh my God. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. And it's all just Jason Tatum. Holy crap. That is just bonkers. Is there anybody else? I guess not. Okay, well, Jason Tatum is not popular. Obviously, he's a Boston player, and we're in Buffalo. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Thirty. Thirty-five. There's like, there's like fifty Jason Tatums here. That is insane. Oh my god. Guys, there's like 50, count them, 50 Jason Tatum's here. <sighs> Starting lineup. Not a good start. Got some Thompson friends, helicopters, die cast planes. Oh my oh! god. <laughs> this is just, oh my god. It's, <laughs> this is just so sad. There's like 50 Jason Tatum's here. Holy crap. Zell, can you believe this? This is ridiculous. I think he's very oh my god. That's just so sad. I think that's about it for the toy section. We're not going to find anything more than that for action figures, but man, what a find. That was just ridiculous. I can't believe it. The rumors are true. All right, guys, let's get out of here. Okay, I stand corrected. There's some other stuff here. <laughs> there are those uh, wheel bots. That's crazy. Knockoff Transformers. I mean, they don't look that bad, but they're not exactly... Not gonna win any toy design prizes for those, that's for sure. And we got some Hot Wheels sets, nice loop-to-loops. Very cool. We got some Gujitsu stuff here. Yep. Metal machines. Yeah. And of course, we got a cat. 
Yeah, I think that's about it. Nothing else really standing out. I was hoping to find some G.I. Joes, but no such luck. Do find some army stuff here, though. That's pretty cool. Huh. Night Stalker. Over there we got a tank. I wonder if it's remote controlled at all. Doesn't look like it, though. Comes with some die-cast figures as well. Vehicles, sorry. And no matter where I go, I can't get away from the pops. Oh! I just cannot get away from the pops. Disney 100, Tina, and Naveen. And more Sonic stuff. Alright, let's get going. Okay, we got some Monopoly here. Naruto Monopoly. We got the original Twister all the way back with the original print. We got some Spyro controller chargers. Hmm. Got some laser tag here. Tomorrow's tomorrow. 16 bucks. Not bad. Alright, so got a few more things. Naruto puzzles. Sonic the Hedgehog chargers. Yeah, not bad. And we have Naruto are those big heads? I don't know what those are. Anyway. Yep, that's what happens when the New Year's comes around. Oh, here's something interesting. Handmade robots. <laughs> they're supposed to resemble yarn, but they're actually like, you know, little figurines. we got a whiskey box for uh, Buffalo Bills fans. And some Jeopardy. Oh, it's a dish set. Okay, cool. Not bad. Yeah, it's a very good thrift store for sure. Definitely have to come back and see if there are any other deals. TJ Maxx, man. All right, guys, well, that was our first visit to TJ Maxx. Very interesting place. <laughs> I can't believe, very first TJ Maxx to walk into, nothing but startup line, starting lineup figures, and the only one there is Jason Tatum. Like, <laughs> that's just ridiculous, man. Absolutely nuts. They're like almost, I would say 50 of them there. 50 starting lineup figures, all the same guy. Just sad, very, very sad. All right, guys, we're off to the next location. We'll see you there. Top says his own gas. That's interesting. All right, well, let's head to Tops. Okay, so if you grew up in Ontario, you would usually watch, uh, you know, television stations like B Buffalo 29, WTV, and they would always have these Tops commercials. So this is like a story third for me. I've never been into Tops, so we're gonna go walk into Tops. All right, let's head into Tops. And guys, here we are at Tops. Again, you grew up in Ontario, you would know, you always see the commercials for Tops. And I've always, it's been like a legendary thing for a lot of us. We got a uh, The Claw grab machine here. Pretty cool. And it's your basic grocery store, but it's then legendary for us Canadians. Tops. Let's have a look. Yeah, football is big here in the United States. Looks like the next Super Bowl is gearing up for its maiden voyage. Everything's big in the States, everything's freaking huge. <laughs> Even just walking around, you feel really small. So up until recently, this was a weird thing for Canadians to see. Beer inside of a grocery store. It's commonplace now, but up until about, let's say, five years ago, this was like a crazy thing to see in any sort of grocery store. So Disney's reach is even here at Tops. Got the Empire Strikes Back. We got Grogu, Spider-Man, Art by Numbers. You gotta love it. And uh, oh my god, it's a freaking Chia Pet. <laughs> Wednesday Chia Pet. Elvira missed the dark ship, man. What the hell? <laughs> All right, I think we should get out of here. Uh, we got some cheap Marvel toys here as well. All right, let's get going. Like I said, finally being at a tops, this place is gigantic. We're not gonna stay here long, but man, it was worth it. It was worth it. Again, legendary, legendary place. All right, you know that the Super Bowl is big when they're setting up a, 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 fo a football pitch called Happy Dad Seltzer. That's crazy, man. I love it. I love this, this whole idea. It's great. <laughs> All right, I'm not joking when I say that I've never been at a Tops, and this is kind of like a legendary thing for me. And just being here, this, <laughs> these grocery stores are gigantic. I mean, we have a few grocery stores this size in Canada, but this is like a normal thing, apparently. This is like a there's regular size of American grocery stores. All right, guys, I think uh, we're pretty much done here. Let's move on to the next location. We'll see you guys there. All right, so this is something I noticed in the last Walmart. We don't have lottery machines like this in Canada. That's just funny. You can buy whatever you like, the deluxe, VIP, 
black titanium 200x man that's a lot of fun you can even buy a regular one too neat wonder who's gonna win the powerball this year all right let's get out of here guys all right guys that was tops and it didn't disappoint again growing up in ontario all right. this is like a legendary place so <laughs> all right we're heading off the target we'll see you guys there